there's no point just learning how to raise your vibrations because we need to deal with the root cause, right? If you don't deal with the roots, you're going to need to refer back to raising your vibrations every time you feel low again. So I think more importantly is also how to protect your energies. Well, actually to understand it, it's very simple because if you look at the human body and I was to ask you, I say, um, which, part, which part of you um, uh, receives most energy? Let's say there's negativity around you. Which part of you receives most energy? So it's the eyes, right? Think of it like this, right? It's like uh, when you look at something, it will consume your mind more than when you hear something. It, it, it's more powerful than any other sense, more than when you feel something. Uh, when, you, when you see something, it's so, so much more powerful. It consumes the mind, it clutters, it creates this, uh, uh, an, an amplified emotion of whatever it is that you are experiencing in that, in that moment. So let's say, for example, if I told you right now and I said somebody died, I could say somebody died, another person died, 10 more people died. You just heard me say that. Is it consuming your mind? Did it really change your vibrational frequency? Maybe five or 10%. But if you've physically seen somebody dying right now, it's gonna change your vibrational frequency dramatically. That's, that's the power of sight. You see, there's this saying that says, your eyes are the key to the soul. Have you ever had it before where you meet up with a friend and you ask them, hey, how's it going? And they say, yeah, it's okay. And you look deep inside their eyes and you say, no, tell me what's going on, right? It's always the eyes. You don't look at the nose, you don't look at the face, you don't look at the body, you look at the eyes. Why is that? The eyes is the key to the soul. You receive most energy through the eyes. And if you understand that, then now when we say, how do we shift our vibrational frequency? Or how do we protect? We start with protecting the eyes, what you see. I always say to people, if you're in a negative environment uh, with uh, naysayers, haters, people who complain and bitch and moan a lot, uh, don't look at the eyes. You can look at the nose, they won't know, right? You can look at the face, you can look at the cheeks. As long as you don't look at the eyes, you'll feel that you receive a lot less uh, of their negative vibrations and, and, and you'll feel a lot better. You're, you're therefore protecting your energies. Exactly. That's why people, when they meditate, they close their eyes because there's no distractions. Why is it that you, you become so much more peaceful? Just by closing your eyes, right? Because you're already blocking off a lot of the energy that you're receiving. So I feel that that type of protection it needs to be done first before we talk about raising your vibrational frequency. Well, if you know that's what consumes your mind, then my question to you is, what do you think the strategy would be to fill your mind or allow yourself to feel, receive the energy to feel on the vibrational high? Again, it's what you see. There's numerous things. I mean, uh, let's start from one of the questions that was asked before, which was about the eye energy transfer meditation. Like once a month, I do an eye energy transfer. I've been doing that for the past three, four years and things like that. It's got probably millions of views uh, all around the world for this. And people get amazing results from it. Why? Because in that moment, I allow myself to become the channel, which is totally free. No thoughts, no doubts, no fears, no overthinking, no nothing, just pure, clean channel. Then I prepare that vessel to be all channeled towards that thing, that, that message, that vibrational frequency I want them to feel, whether it's healing, whether it's wealth, whether it's manifestations, whether it's powers, whether it's confidence. I allow them to feel it through me when I feel it and I allow myself to amplify that emotion from within me and beyond me. And it's felt through an eye energy transfer. 
That's why a lot of people, when they do those meditations, they say just like seven minutes, 10 minutes of it, and it completely changed their life. So obviously you have certain things like that where you can, uh, if you have a powerful energy source or your inner vortex or you're working with a, a particular master or healer and you're able to channel those frequencies you receive through the eyes, it's going to be very powerful. But other than that, I think that what people can do is just fuel your surrounding with the things that you, you, you make you feel good, right? What pictures, when you look at it, you feel good right what people around you when you when you're with them it makes you feel good what activities what colors furniture right what art pieces makes you feel good makes your vibrations feel high right and if you uh, prepare your surrounding that way so that every day from the moment you wake up the thing you see makes you smile makes you feel gratitude makes you feel love makes you feel all these positive vibrations guess what if you can place everything around your house like that everywhere everything around your work desk everywhere around your work so that you ensure you protect that environment not only that you make sure that you see everything that makes you feel positive it will shift your vibrational frequency once your vibrational frequency shifts guess what your whole reality shifts because you don't attract what you want you attract what you want Thank you.